I'm here with another video for Try the World. I'm super excited about this box. Um, they have the special box out for um, the holidays. This is available starting now, November 1st. Um, you can get this box. It's full of sweet treats that you can eat out of the box and I believe that you can cook and bake with. So let's go ahead and open the box and see what we have inside. Oh, I just opened it here. The first thing that I see is a little world map here. So yellow, it says global desserts. The brown says holiday tea time. And then green says peace on earth. So you can see the different areas. Where's the green on here? I think that's the green right there. Um, I'm going to not look at everything else in the card in case it shows me the stuff that's inside the box. So, and I'll refer to it if needed. So I'm so excited, you guys, you have no idea. I really love Try the World. It's excellent. Let me take out the first thing. I'm gonna take out the first thing that I know that I've tried in the past. This is a little bit different. This is Palmier's. Um, it says, I don't know how to pronounce it, Macarain, Macarain. I wonder if this is exactly the same one that I've tried before in the past. I'm not sure. It looks just like the one that I've tried before in the past, and I know that I love it. This is some good stuff. All right, so I'm gonna try these Palmier's um, Moroccan, Moroccan cookies or something. Mm. Mm hmm. I don't think these are the ones. These are like buttery, sweet, but not too sweet. They're perfect. Mm. They're really so good. Here's the ingredient list on this. Wheat flour, butter, sugar, and salt. Four things. They're, oh, they're so delicious. I'm sorry. Next in here is dried berry mix. It says it's real berries in here. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to look at the, the package, uh, I mean uh, the culture guide and see what you're supposed to do with this. It says there's real berries, dried berry mix. It says in Finland's northern wilderness, Biokia harvests a range of wild and little known berries such as billy berries and lingam berries. All right, so I'm not sure, are you supposed to eat this right out of the package? I personally, I'm not gonna open this one. I'm gonna save this one and share it with my friends at work because I know they like dried fruit. I'm not a dried food, per, fruit person, but um, I'm definitely gonna share it with them. They feel like little tiny berries inside. Next here is from Panettone Milano. Um, it looks like some kind of I don't know if it, it's soft. Maybe it's a bread of some sort. Let's see what it says inside the culture guide. Here we go. It says, when made at home, this sweet bread loaf from Milan is traditionally marked with a cross by the head of the ho house as good omen for the coming year. Panettone Milano. I don't know what's in here. Can't eat orange peels are in here. Hmm, interesting. Milk, egg yolk yolk, yeast, da 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 da. Okay, let's go for it. So it looks like it got squished up in the mail. It looks like it's supposed to be like a muffin kind of shape, but it's not, and it's got this paper around it. So I'm just gonna kind of like break, oh, hello. Look at that. It's got raisins in there. What the heck is in this stuff? And it, smell, it smells like it has liquor in it, in my opinion. I could be completely off and completely wrong on that, but let me just rip off a piece of this here. I really don't like raisin in my bread, but I'm gonna go for it. Hmm. It's very soft. Oh, what the heck is that? I don't know what that flavor is. It's very strong. I don't know what that is. Is that the candied orange peels? I have to try it again. 
I still have I still have that taste in my mouth. It didn't say anything about having raisins in it on the ingredient list. I'm gonna go for it one more time just because I wasn't sure what I was eating. I'm not sure about this. It's kind of good. It's kind of strange. I don't know what that is. I see raisins in here. I don't know all about um, candied orange, but that's so weird that it says it's got candied orange in here, yet I don't see candied orange. I see like raisins in here. Maybe they sent me a different kind. I don't know. Anyway, Ooh. next is some extra virgin olive oil. Can always use that. It is from Israel. So I don't know. I've never tried anything, I guess, from Israel. I mean, heck, I don't even know where the olive oil actually comes from when I buy it from the grocery store. So I don't. It'll be interesting to see if it tastes different from that part of the world. Next is an acai sauce for ice creams, yogurts, and desserts. So it's just, I don't know, can you see inside? Let me zoom in. It's kind of moving. It's very, um, not liquidy, but it's not too, too thick either. Um, it says made in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. I'm going to taste a little tiny, tiny bit of it. Let's see. It smells... It smells just like if you've had a kai berry, it smells just like that. I'm just gonna dip my finger right into the, the top, maybe cross by. Mm. It tastes just like, just like a, a kai berry. It, do you say a kai or acai? However you wanna say it, that's what it tastes like. It's good. This is probably actually really good to mix in with pork when you're gonna marinate it. I bet you that's real good with that. Next we have Ruby Red Restorative Winter Calming Tea from Tea Tations. This one's from the UK. Next are truffles. Ooh, yummy. So I already know what truffles are. Who doesn't know what truffles are? And these um, French truffles with cocoa powder are from Canada. My Canadian friends. They don't really have the powdery outside because it looks like the powder has just kind of sunken in and shipping and all that stuff, but normally I do know that the truffles have like a cocoa powder on the outside, but these do not. So, let's go for it. Mmm, wow. Super rich. Mmm. I'll come back after I eat it. Did you see the chocolate in my teeth? So sorry. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> These truffles are so, I mean, truffles in general are creamy, but these bad boys, they're almost orgasmic. They're delicious. Can I say that on camera? They are. They just kind of like, they melted so quickly and I bit into it and oh my gosh, it was just like, oh my gosh, I, you gotta try these. These are so good. So these are called Truffettes de France. French truffles with cocoa powder on them and they're made in Canada. My friends, you don't know what you're missing. And lastly, we have some ginger snaps and these are in orange flavored and these are made in Sweden. Very cool. Get some Swedish ginger snaps. Okay, next I'm gonna try these ginger snap cookies. They're very orangey smelling and very gingery snappy cookie smelling. Do you like my descriptions? Let's see. Mmm. Not what I, what I was expecting. They're not hard at all. I thought they were going to be really hard. A lot of times ginger snap cookies are hard. These are very soft. Not, not like chewy soft, but crunchy soft. Mmm. Who knew that orange flavored ginger snap cookies would be so yummy? Mmm. Good job. Thoroughly impressed. My taste buds are like, mmm, yummy. All right, so the only things that I did not try are these two, which is the tea and the dried berries and the olive oil because obviously I'm not going to try some olive oil but <clears throat> I have to say 
it was an excellent box. Very happy with it. You guys need to try, try the world. I can go back and eat the cookies, both types of cookies, the truffles. I'm gonna have another cookie. Now that I've tried all these snacks, what are my thoughts on this particular box? This one is the Holiday Try the World box. I will have all the information down below for you. Um, in this little holiday, holiday culture guide, it's got where the items are coming from, what part of the world. It tells you about each one of the products that you have inside your box. Uh, let's see what's on the back side. The back side, we have some music. They have a playlist here. You can go to Try the World playlist to see all the different music from all those different types of countries that are um, presented in the box. Some recipes. Let's see what else we got here. And these are all recipes right here. So um, I loved this box. This was an excellent box to try out um, all these different types of things from all these different countries. I have to say, I've always liked every single box from Try the World. I've never been disappointed. There may be stuff in the box that I don't like, but I really enjoy trying different things from all over the place, <clears throat> trying to incorporate it into my meals, um, on my daily meals, and you can purchase items off of their website as well. That's it for my Try the World. This is the holiday edition. Um, again, I will have everything down in the description box down below, and it was amazing, I have to say loved it. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again in another video. Bye!